Hello everyone. We will continue the topic control break statements or control break events. And in the last video, we studied that we have four types of control break statements or events. Now we will start with all these events or statements one by one. Firstly, we will understand the meaning and then we will start with the practical part for the same. Suppose we'll firstly come on to add first. Our first control break event is add first. This event triggers for the first record or we can say first row or we can say first iteration of the internal table in loop. Have you seen in every control break statement or event, we are always, always using the word loop, loop, because they will always, always apply inside the loop. Now, add first. Word itself is saying add first will trigger for the first row or first record or first iteration of the internal table inside the loop. Suppose if I will go for the example. Suppose my internal table name is LT data and it has two columns order number and item cost. These are the data in the internal table. This is the data in the internal table. So add first will trigger for the first iteration or first row or first record of the internal table. It means whenever we will go inside the loop, and the first record is going on or first row or first iteration is going on, which particular event will trigger at first, at first, at first only for the first iteration, first iteration. Now we will come on to our next event. Our next control break event is at last it triggers for the last row or last record or last iteration of the internal table inside the loop suppose our loop is going on it will come to second record third record fourth record fifth record Whenever it will come on to the last record of the internal table or last row of the internal table or last iteration of the internal table inside the loop, which event will trigger at last? Word itself is saying at first, first record of the internal table at last last record of the internal table and yes we all know whenever we will put a loop on the internal table loop will continue for the number of records of the internal table suppose this internal table has 13 records so our loop will continue how many times 13 times or you can understand in a way for the first iteration at first will execute and for the 13th number iteration at last will execute. Now we will move on to our next control break event. Now add new field name and add end of field name. Always remember they will trigger for a group. You need to understand group group. So remember, add new field name and add end of field name. Always, always work on a group, group now. But is add new field name. Suppose 
in our current example suppose we are writing add new order number suppose i am writing add new order number okay suppose order number column name is o and o this is our event is yes. add new field name so we gave add new what is the field name o and o now what is written in the theory it triggers for the first record of a group having the same value for the specified field name just see in our current example which field we specified order number so firstly we will see how many groups of order number are there if you see for this first three records order number is 1 it means these three records will act as one group for order number 2 we have how many record two records so it will act as one group for order number 3 we have how many record three records so it will act as one group for order number 4 we have how many record two records so it will act as one group for order number 5 we have how many record three records so it will act as one group so whenever you are going for add new field name or add end of field name always always it works on a group group so in our current scenario total we have five record five groups for the order number order number 1 order number 2 order number 3 order number 4 and order number 5 now we will understand the definition it triggers it triggers for the first record of the group is this the first record of this order number 1 yes is this the first record of order number 2 yes is this the first record of order number 3 yes is this the first record for order number 4 yes is this the first record of order number 5 yes so this event trigger for the first record of the group having the same value for the specified field name do we have the same value for the specified field name yes for these three records order number is one same value for this order for this two records order number is two same value for these three records order number is three same value for these two records order number is four same value for these three records order number is five same value so yes at new triggers for the first record of the group first record of the group having the same value for the specified field name it is very very important whatever the field you are specifying it will check the same value of that field name suppose for these three record we have same value for these two records we have same value so now add new it will trigger for the first record of this group for the this first record of this group first record of this group first record of this group and first record of this particular group extremely extremely important concept now we will come on to add end of field name if add new field name is clear add end of field name is very very easy to understand suppose now i am writing add end of order number now same to same thing just in case of add new you took the first record of the group in case of at end 
we need to take the last record of the group. So at end, it triggers for the last record of a group having the same value for the specified field name. Which field we specified? Order number. Where is the last, last record of that particular group? This is the last record of group of order number one. This is the last record of order number two. This is the last record of order number three. This is the last record of order number four. This is the last record of order number five. So this at end will trigger at end of field name will trigger for the last record of the group. Yes, having the same value for the specified field name. Whatever the field you are specifying, based upon that only it will make group. It will make group and take the first record. If we are going for add a new and take the last record, if we are going for add and yes. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we studied the theory part of four control break statements or we can say event at first it triggers for the first record of the internal table. It will not consider any group at all. Blindly, whenever first record is going inside the loop, at first will trigger. At last will also not trigger for a group. It will trigger for the last record of the internal table. Suppose when we took the example, first record, at first, last record, at last. Now, what is at new field name? At new field name, it works on a group. It works on a group and it will take the first record of the group. It triggers for the first record of the group. And yes, having the same value for the specified field name because it is making group based upon the specified field name only. In our current scenario, we specified order number. So it is making the groups based upon the value of order number only. So for this first group, so for this order number one, this is the first record of order number one. This is the first record of order number two. This is the first record of order number three. First record of order number four. First record of order number five. Now at end of field name also also triggers for a group of records having the same value for the specified field name. But it will go for last record of the group. So this is the last record of order number one, last record of order number two, last record of order number three, last record of order number four, and this is the last record of order number five. And one of the important point have you observed, this internal table is in sorted order based upon order number. Anyways, when the practical will start, we will put so much stress onto this particular point. So that's it in this video. In the next video, we will start with the practical part of control break statements or control break events. So that's it in this video. Thank you.